today we are going to see about a very interesting project by using Raspberry Pi 4 board and a fingerprint sensor. Basically this project will be used for biometric authentication. So based on the finger stored in the fingerprint sensor, the data will be received by the Raspberry Pi board and if the data matches then it will turn on the relay. Additionally, we have added the Tikinter GUI interface so that we can have the photograph of the person entering the uh, authenticated place. Okay, so this is a system. We have the fingerprint sensor. So this is a GT series fingerprint sensor. We have the relay connected for turning a lock. So by using this, we can turn on and turn off the door lock. That is, we can lock and sensor is connected to the Raspberry Pi board using a TTL converter. And this is Raspberry Pi 4 board. And this is the system code which we are going to execute. So by using this code, we are going to run the system. So this is based on Tikinter and all the codes that is required for running this are integrated in the same file okay so i am just going to run this code so for running the code just run run model so as you can see the code is running and you will be getting the interface this is the user interface okay so this is the user interface and uh, in the user interface what are the options are there we can add the person actually we can add the person uh, by using register user so by clicking on the register user you can add the new person okay so we can add the id number for example uh, uh, i am giving the id 4 okay so i am giving the id 4 and then i am giving the name for example i am giving some name like uh, sumanth like this i am giving some name and if you press the click register button it will automatically ask for the photograph of the person so i am clicking the register button and it will automatically ask for the photograph of the person i am just selecting the photograph so as you can see there are some jpg files in this i am just selecting the d.jpg ok so what is d.jpg as you can see so this is the file and this is d.jpg ok I don't need this this photo is already in the database I'm just going to change so we can add uh, a a.jpg ok so I'm going to add a.jpg fine so I'm just selecting the a.jpg and I'm clicking open so the registration is success the re user registration is success and you can also see in the shell window image and the details are inserted to the SQLite database so I am using the SQLite database for inserting the image and the details so image will be converted uh, as the blob and inserted to the database itself so image is stored inside the database itself so now the registration is success so after registration is success this window will automatically go and now we are ready for the scanning option so when you click the scan button uh, it will check for the finger and it will notify the person okay so i'm just going to click the scan button and keep the and in the fingerprint sensor i'm just clicking the scan button so the sensor will start blinking i am just keeping my finger here so as you can see once the photo is detected when the finger is detected automatically relay will turn on and after a few seconds the relay will turn off so that we can open the door and we can close back the door okay so this is how it will work so i will show you again I am going to press the scan button by pressing the scan button the finger the sensor will blink I am just keeping my finger ok the finger is detected and automatically relay is turned on and after a few seconds the relay will turn off and also it will go to the default image ok I am just showing again so now you can see I am clicking the scan button so the finger will I am keeping the finger so it will show the name and the photograph of the person and open the relay and after a few seconds it will close the relay we can adjust the timing of the on off of the relay so this is how the entire system works so this is raspberry pi based fingerprint that is biometric authentication system with the tikinter GUI so that we can have the uh, photograph and details of the person in the GUI interface and also all the data are stored inside the database using SQLite database so this is how the system works Thanks for watching.